I was looking for a simple radio for the car and I came across this on eBay, quite cheap actually, and I, uh, in a fit of madness I ordered it and I was amazed at how quickly it came in a, a jiffy bag the next day. Um, and uh, that's the size of the box. You know, it's not, not incredibly big. Um, anyway, this is what's inside it. It's a two meter, no, it's a UHF only. One radio and instructions. Now, if you've got a uh, wiser two, probably one in French and one in English. If you've got Y chromosomes, you throw those away, you see. You don't need those, because you know best right now. There is the radio. It's tiny, it's only half the box. Um, I promise you, this is the first time I've seen this radio. So, it's all this. Here's the focus. God, there's a lot of stuff in here. It's all this oh, mounting bracket. Um, power cable, complete with a jobby. The lid itself, which fits in the hand. And microphone and something else is this old microphone clip and the hardware for the mounting bracket I chuck the box There's the radio mounting bracket and so on put that to one side radio mobile phone this is a small mobile phone. Um, let's uh, have a look at the microphone. It's in a massive condom. Yay. Right. Hey, that's chunky, that is. That's not too bad. Ooh. Can you hear that? Clonk, clonk. That's going to go clonk every time you key up and de-key. Clonk. Everybody will know it's you. And what have we got here? Up and down buttons. That's useful. No CTC. No, sorry. No, uh, no DTMF keypad. I wanted something that was really, really simple. Just turn the knob. You know, a couple of channels, that's it. Don't, don't need any more. Let's put that to one side. Let's have a look at the radio itself. So I didn't need fancy CTCSs, I mean fancy DTMF and all that stuff. Right, there's the microphone and the radio and a mobile phone as a comparison. So, uh, you probably wouldn't know exactly how big it is. Out comes the trusty tape measure. I can't read that, what's that, 10 centimetres? By 10 centimetres. It's not very big. And, uh, Buttons. Oh, it's got a fun button. Oh, you can have lots of fun with that. I don't know what that is. Obviously, means function, doesn't it? Um, VFO and memory. Scan. Is that scan? I can't read it without my glasses on. And that one will be squ squelch. 
Um, looks like the microphone's fixed, you can't move it. Come on, focus. And a clicking up, which unfortunately goes round and round and round. So, unless you know where you're starting from, that's, uh, that's going to be a bit awkward in the car, isn't it? Click, click, click. I like the fact that you can feel the clicks. But unless you know where you're starting from, and I bet he doesn't have a voice synthesizer. Nice big speaker. <laughs> That's relative, isn't it? But, um, and it's bottom facing. If it was upward facing, it would face, it would be in the, uh, Shouting into the dashboard, and that's no good. Um, reasonable sized heat sink. I should say this thing actually. Um, if I can find it. It's metal. It's um, it's quite substantial. Oh, unfortunately, it's got one of these awful connectors on. They call it a UHF connector but there's no way that's good enough for UHF. That's a grotty old PL259. Uh, oh well, we're stuck with it. That's the volume control. But, but it does go round and round. So, you know, is it ever going to stop? What happens when you turn the volume to minimum, does it stop? Oh, presses in as well. Yeah, you're on a voyage of discovery here. I didn't know that presses in. And you see, this is why I have to read the manual. It probably tells me everything in here. But, um, you know, it's, it's, it's probably the last thing you look at, isn't it, is the manual. Uh, what's it like? It's not bad. The, this function used for setting RX signal strength. The calling will be heard only when reached set level. Otherwise the radio will keep mute. Uh, perhaps I changed my mind. It's in Chinglish. I thought it was going to be in Frongray, but it's in it's in Chinglish. I don't know, you know, why they don't why they don't employ English people to um, to to proofread these things after they've translated it from Chinese to uh, whatever to English. Why don't they employ English people? to proofread it and correct it or do they perhaps they employ english people that don't understand radio